All right, guys, what's going on? So this is not OCW. This is AB Watchman. I'm actually showing him how to use this application here. So this location that we're at, this is Tarzana Medical Treatment Center located in Reseda, California. The lady that you're staring at, she ended up having some type of weird panic attack all because of cameras. When we first get there, there was a couple guys out in the front, which you're going to most likely see on my video. Um, OCW, he also has that part on his video as well, right? On my camera. On his camera. Uh, I don't think he's going to be able to upload that part yet, though. So when we get there, uh, they made it seem like everything was peaches and cream at this facility. But then we ended up running into a guy who was out there in the front, and he was crying. He was trying to get a bed, and he had a story to tell, and here's his story now. They called the cops on you? For what? Yeah, they did, because I just wouldn't leave, and I told them that he was lying. Do you mind if I turn on my light? Would that bother you? I don't care. Okay. He was lying. Oh, all right, all right. I'm sensitive about it. Yeah. Because I didn't want to leave. I left this place. I came here and left twice on the same protocol procedure. I did the same fucking thing. I go to a week of detox. Right. And then I went to the residential, stayed for one day, and then dipped two times. One two years ago, one one month ago, but then this time, oh, uh, yesterday on Saturday or whatever, fucking, what's your guys' name? My name's Steve. Jimmy. Steve and Jimmy? Yeah. I freaking tried again on Saturday or something, and the sickness is going on, right? Right. And I was there for one day residential after one week. Okay, you can read, I'm gonna read, I wrote a whole freaking thing about it last night, and yes, I fucking relapsed, because I'm a fucking addict, and I'm not gonna freaking be ashamed of that. You did the first thing you admitted to it, so you started off, yeah. So, yeah. And I, I don't, I actually used after freaking they denied me, because I'm fucking stressed out, and it's not fair. I'll read it to you if, you, if that's what yeah. you want to do, but... What they, long story short, in here, I, after being a week in detox, go to the residential, they have quarantine rooms already, they room me with that guy who's already quarantined, and they already have a history and stuff with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's sure. already quarantined and moving sick, just feeling symptoms. Oh, wow. Because he was exposed to someone who had it. Okay? Then... What happened? I go in that room after one day, all happy and shit, shaking the guy's hand, you know, they knowing the shit. Go to thing, and fuck. Huh. I, I start working and shit, like helping out in the place. You gotta help out. Do you guys, do you guys know this person? No. No, we're just watching him too. <laughs> Sure. They don't like the fact we're investigating. No, you can't. No. Oh, yeah, you want to get him a bed? Get him some help? He needs help. Why are you here? What you watching? Don't worry about it. Yeah, please, please shut up. Yeah, you don't have a right to be here. You have to come on property and take pictures. Is this your property? Who's on your property, lady? You don't have property. What we property? property? I dare you it's to come to come on the What property are we on? Know, what is the problem public. here? What are you doing? We heard public sidewalk. Um, no, America. Yeah, yeah. Where are you from? America. Scram. USA. Scram. USA. That's Scram. where we're from. Kick rocks. Kick rocks. What's my name? It's called None Your Business. Don't help any. Kick rocks. Hell, well, lady, I got better hey, degree and education than you. Hey, that's what you think right that's now. That's why you kick this young man out. That's why you kick this young man out when he has a problem and he's asking for help and you call the cops. Hey. Is that what it is? Hey. Exactly. Yeah. Did you know that? She's gonna go call nine one one.
so. Whatever it is. You guys are real mean over here, coming out here trying to tell photographers to get off the public. Nope. Nope. Free people don't do that. Free, free people. people See, do America, land of the free and the free. Free men don't ask permission. If you get this guy help, we'll leave. You get him a bed, we'll leave. The poor guy needs help. But I left because of my, my safety and I want to go get another test. I get there Friday, boom, they test me Friday, right? <laughs> they test me Friday. The day I get there, they're already going to test me and sub it all over my nose and cameras. Shit. Right. Boom. I get tested. Whoa. I'm wondering why. I guess everyone's getting tested. Yeah. You know? The guy Rich Dick, I guess his name is Richard Richard. Oh, this is good. We're getting all the scoop. Richard. Double scoop. Triple scoop. The guy, he didn't even know his name. And he works for him. He's the head guy named Stan. Stan? And he, I said, Richard did this, Richard did this. He's the main guy enforcing it. Oh, you gotta freaking go and uh, stay in the room and do this and shit. And uh, you can't leave. Once you're in the room, you're stuck in there. I said, what am I gonna go in the room for? Oh, uh, I don't know, brother. Uh, uh, you'll know when you get there. This and that. Motherfucking bald-headed, glasses-wearing son of a punk. Freaking, he does that. And yes, I don't care if I write about him and call him dick and bald. Yeah. Open the door. That's exactly what he is. Right. He's a bald-headed, freaking hey. wannabe hey. tattooed. God, door. take a Xanax already. You have or no take right to take my picture. They didn't even give me my meds. Take a they didn't give you your meds? No, you're supposed to leave and at least take some meds. They get, I get trazodone and stuff so I can sleep from the freaking... Uh, <laughs> Is that how they are all the yeah, time? Yeah, oh my god, dude. It's freaking ridiculous. And how they treat the people. Oh my gosh, I can't even... Dude, I was treated like a fucking caged animal in there. After being so free, after really feeling... The freaking rehab rehabilitation of the center, which is fucking lousy. Freaking the people, they're only there for the paper. And, and, uh, money. Freaking, I can tell that, that it was a setup. That guy, since he accidentally put me in the quarantine room, which was the only room available. Is that the guy right there? No, he's, he's, he, oh, how funny, he's off four days, he tells me, as soon as he quarantines us after, his job is done, he's off for four days after working every day, and not missing a fucking day, because he's super freaking ball sack, oh wow, super ball sack, freaking needs a new pair of undies, all right, and he's still recording, but he's recording, yeah. oh, whatever you guys want, I don't yeah. care, I'm just telling you guys my story, yeah, and anyway, Richard Dickballs, right, freaking does all that shit to me, makes me stay in the room. I'm like, he's like, well, he calls me a gay. Uh, first I write all the rules down, cause it's his procedure phase. I write all the rules down. What does he say? You can't use gay profanity, all that shit, towards one another. He calls me. I tell him, I tell my buddy, everyone's acting hostile, there's freaking criminals in there, and shit, because they're court ordered, you know, they're drug addict maniacs, like I am, I'm not court ordered though, I'm just there, for yeah. fucking, just cause I need to go there, 
and, and I, and so you I, came here asking for help again, and then they... Please, I made mistakes. You made a mistake. Oh, wow. It's called a mistake. Everybody makes mistakes, you know? Everybody makes mistakes. We're not perfect. So, you know, I, let me tell you. Okay, yes, I've been here three times. And I and I did the same fucking thing like in the same person three times. But this last time wasn't wanted by me. I was at, I was calling my fam. I called what was known to be like my godfather. Right. I asked him what I do. Someone in the fucking room has the fucking sickness. Oh. His results just came in that day because he was tested days prior. Wow. And they just moved me in the fucking room. I'm shaking hands with the guy. Freaking not even knowing what's going on. I have to... I do my duty. I still have the wristband. Right. My duty work. If you're brand new there, you gotta clean the shower on your first Saturday. Wow, great. I come there on Saturday. have to clean your whole fucking kitchen. That's feeding a hundred something people. And I... And just getting told how to do it. When did they call the cops for you? Oh. When did they do that today or today? When I tried coming back. Well, what the cops say? I didn't stick around for that shit. I'm black. I, I agree. I understand. I see where you're coming they from, bro. They fifty-one fifty me, my last cop freaking thing. Oh. And brutalized me. Twelve police officers had a helicopter for me, man, saying I had a hostage. I'm black out here. I don't get You got treated. a phone? Yeah. So you have a camera on your phone? I just got one now. You know how to operate it? Yes, now so I do. whenever you start talking to them, oh my they start gosh, coming at so you like smart. that, just flip your phone around to like he's holding, hit record. But then I just feel like they're going to get offended and just fuck me a little more. Like they were doing to us? Yeah, but you got proof. Yeah. But you got proof and that's your you right. Stand your ground. Yeah, that's your right. Gotta stand your ground because gotcha. I was too passive, and all I did is put my foot on the door when you guys walking away. I yeah. put my foot in the door. I'm like, dude, read my letter, this and that. I worked hard. I just wanted to explain because you guys did it wrong, and it made me feel unsafe. And I was unsafe, and I'm endangering people because, like, you're endangering me. That's all I'm telling you guys. Oh, I didn't do that. We didn't do that. Who the heck is Rich? I don't know who Rich is. Then why the fuck, if you're the main person, why the fuck you directing the motherfucker to freaking tell me what the fuck to do? You stupid idiot. See, and this is why... God I, damn you, Stan. Right. I fucking asked for your help, dude. I was told I could get a bed by the lady who me out before, but then she see want to fucking enforce it and act like I'm a sewer motherfucker, which I obviously could, which is why you're scared and banning me and trying to call the cops put the point on your finger first is because you know that you were in the wrong had the protocol said that's a multi motherfucking billion dollar lawsuit for putting this sickness on me motherfucker and you white devil on my white ass mom I would if, if you didn't treat me like that bro I would have knocked you the fuck out if I wasn't a changed man I'm trying to fucking change you fucking dirty cock sucking devil Fuck you, you fucking white honky. I hate you. I don't give a fuck. I hope you see this. I hope it goes on you, Scott. You're a freaking piece of shit. Who is that again? Stan fucking head of TPC Rehabilitation Center. Tarzana Treatment Center right on fucking Oxnard, Arisita. What the fuck is 18646 Oxnard. I'll expose you guys because right now, you guys are on my side. You guys are telling lies and already ready to fucking jump the, the desk lady is is automatically making demands. It took me, I didn't even leave with my backpack. I had to leave with bags, which fucking, thank God my mom gave me one to freaking help me out. You guys didn't give me my pajamas and shit after telling me, all right, you got, if you're going to leave, you got to leave now or never. Now or never. Make me in that quarantine room. You're going to leave when I'm okay to leave. When I have all my shit together. They're not rushing me. And then what? Next thing you know, the court-ordered guy that that leaves and comes right here after I rush out the thing. I only rush because my freaking godfather says he's five minutes away. Asshole. 
not because you said, then you guys are coming out two minutes, three minutes before me, and, and, and what? Sorry, I don't speak Espanol, and I tell you my mom's intelligent, and, and she's smart and, and would know what to do. Oh, you're frightened, aren't you? So when they give you, oh, you guys got to stay in the room, this and that, you can't use your phone. Uh, we're going to bring your phone, I mean, but if you need me to call your mom, tell you that you're fucked, that I'm fucking you're over, putting my dicks far up your pooper, to where your shit got pushed in your belly. You want to know how that feels? COVID-19. That's what happens when you get fucked in the ass by a freaking bald-headed guy named Richard who has a no balls and all dick. Okay, bro? I'm freaking livid. I fucking used heroin I, and, and did a goofball. Because I'm a fucking addict. I'm not going to admit it and relax. Have a good night, guys. You Sorry. Too. Yeah. Bye bye, really. No problem, man. Yeah. No, I was gonna fight him. Thank God I didn't, because he's a good guy. Well, if he came and apologized, that you got He's to... a good guy. Yeah. I was gonna fight him, though, because he volunteered to work oh, here. Nice yeah. But, yeah. fuck, yeah. man. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm just so upset, because, like, Look at all the aspects of just negativity that goes on here, bro. Yeah. And it turns me into a negative person. All the patients are cool. The patients are lovely. They're trying to do the same thing you're doing. You right. know what I mean? Right. The patients are lovely. I'm not even... I'm talking to you as, as a human right now. We are human, man. We're... Pardon me? You deny treatment or something? Or you know about what... We know what's been going on because you're not the only... You're not the first. So and we got phone calls. She had a question? Uh-huh. Oh, and you work for... America? No, we were investigating them. And you work for America. You had phone calls? Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And I'm glad you're doing it because it is being done. Have you seen it's anybody else being kicked out? No, not discharged like yeah. they said I was. And, they, and I left on my own recognizance. Oh, okay. Freaking, but then I come back today, right? They say I'm discharged. You didn't discharge me. <laughs> now you're discharging me and you're lying. Because how am I going to get discharged if I wasn't even admitted? How? You didn't tell me I could come back in. Right. I just reused. I have to do the whole thing again. All right. You get me? Yeah, yeah. You guys got something better to do? Well, I think I got a, I got a message over here. Uh, you almost ready? Yeah, we yeah. got a lot, but we got enough yeah. that one. Okay. Yeah, right. you guys gotta do your thing, but I'm just yeah. gonna tell yeah. you as much as as the long five fucking page. Hey, you yeah. don't have a phone number? I do. You wanna give it to him? That way, you know, we'll point you in the right direction. I don't know my phone number, I'm make so if I write yours and tonight. call it right now, I'll right. have my phone number. Right. I mean, or you know what, just write it down on some paper real quick. You don't All know right. it. Alright, you can write it down for me. You don't know his number. Oh, here, I'll write you down my name. Yeah, I don't know my number, so like... Just don't let them get my number. I just got one. I'll delete it right in front of you. Yeah, don't, okay. No, 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 keep my number, but don't let them get my oh, number. Oh, they're... Yeah, because we're trying to help you, bro. I'm not on their team right now, and they're not See, on... See, right now, you say right now. Not ever when it comes to us, as a... Because right now, dude, you guys are the leg I'm standing on. You guys uh, are actually being a voice, and wait, wait. I know they're listening from all aspects of the wall. Yeah. Stop, they've seen us and they turn around a little bit. You can hear them right there. Yeah. There's a thing right there on the side of the building. They're going to say I'm a fucking rat. Look at your cameras coming right at us on top of it. Right oh, there's the cameras oh, all yeah. throughout. There's cameras in every dorm. Right there too, yeah. There's cameras in every dorm, my guy. I'm pretty sure of it. I see the one in my room. So, they're going to say I'm a rat. They're probably not going to let me back because of this. I got to kiss ass and suck some balls and dick to get in here now. But I'm not doing that. If I don't ever get rehabilitated, you, you see it? there's other avenues. Then I'm going to go to a different place. Yeah, I would. Because, because they can take Kaiser and whatever, but they got to know what they did to me. And the lady was just here right. and saying she's going to write an email. I tell her I got a note. She can write that fucking note email to the guy. And she just walked in and, and avoided. She just walked out yeah, yeah. and avoided me talking to me. But worried about you guys. Yeah. And I'm not saying I'm here with some things.
Oh, okay. but we're ready to help you. This is not. Yeah. You guys, I don't want you guys yeah. to get freaking exposed. Right. You guys need to stay lucky. All right, brother. They're, not, they're, we're doing, gonna... their, they're doing their dirt now. Yeah. I already know how it is. We'll okay, brother. Hey. Oh, here, you ready? Thank yeah. you, guys. Yeah. All right, guys, that's going to be it. Once again, if you just got done watching this video and you want to see the other parts of this video, make sure to come over to my channel, AB Watchman. We'll share the link down below in the comment section. It will be the pinned comment. Just click the link and it'll take you right over to the channel and you can check out what happened. All right, guys, you guys are watching OCW, Oklahoma Community Watch, and this is AB Watchman. Out of here. Peace, love, and always film the police.